Abnormal Psychology with Dr. Richard Day. What is abnormal psychology? Uh, abnormal psychology is the study of primarily the etiology or causes of uh, mental disorder, which is defined as inappropriate or maladaptive thinking or inappropriate or maladaptive behavior uh, or in a ma uh, maladaptive or inappropriate emotional responses to the things that happen to us. What are some disorder examples? Some examples would be major depression, schizophrenia, uh, special or specific phobia. There are lots and lots of PTSD, eating disorders. There are 300 uh, different categories in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of the American Psychiatric Association. So yeah, there's a lot of them. How are cases of abnormal psychology treated in society? It varies a great deal. I mean, certain kinds of disorders I think are readily accepted because they reflect experiences that we have all had, <clears throat> anxiety disorders in particular. I mean, we've all experienced anxiety. We know what it's like. We know it's a problem. And so when someone experiences anxiety disorders, whatever they might be, we're, we're pretty sympathetic and supportive. Uh, that's becoming more true, I think, for a number of disorders. Uh, depression, for example, again, is something that some of us have either struggled with personally or know someone who has. <clears throat> but uh, the more challenging disorders in terms of uh, society's approach is something like schizophrenia or the disorders or bipolar disorder where there are psychotic features. And part of the problem there is that uh, we don't have personal experience with most of those symptomatologies. We don't have delusions. We don't have hallucinations. Uh, and so it's hard for us to understand and appreciate what, what the experience is like for people who have the, the symptoms. But by and large, I think uh, society is becoming more understanding generally. I mean, you look at Bell Canada and their uh, uh, Let's Talk days about uh, mental disorder. I think this, we're making considerable progress on that front, I think. What are your thoughts on how the media, for example, news and newspapers, portray individuals with abnormal psych disorders? It, uh, it varies quite a bit. Uh, I think in general, the media, like society in general, is becoming a little more tolerant, a little more understanding of individuals who suffer these, these symptoms. Uh, but still, there are some, some rather negative stereotypes out there, I think, about a number of the disorders, which uh, are inappropriate and, of course, damaging to the individuals who experience these symptoms. So it's a kind of a mixed bag, I think. How are individuals with abnormal psych disorders portrayed in films? Is it an accurate depiction? Mostly, well, I, I can only base it on my own <laughs> limited experience with film and television. Uh, and by and large, of course, because these are dramatic media where you're, you're trying to tell a dramatic story, very often uh, the depiction is exaggerated uh, and um, overly dramatized, I think. Uh, in a number of cases, if, if you were to accurately present these people, they wouldn't be as interesting from a narrative point of view. So I think there tends to be a lot more distortion in, media de in, in fictional media depictions at least of mental disorder than there is in the news reports about mental disorder. Are you interested in dissociative identity disorder? If so, click on the link below to continue this abnormal psych discussion with Dr. Day.